Shrimp time. Hey YouTube, Brian here again. Uh, just coming at you with a shrimp update for uh, July 2016. I uh, just thought I'd take you through all my tanks like I usually do every month. Um, we'll just start like we always do over here at the uh, low grade uh, Crystal Reds. As always, this tank is just flourishing. Tons of breeding, things are going real well. Shrimp are looking good. Not much else to really say about it, to be honest with you, but uh, even though these are the lower grades, you know, I still kind of enjoy these ones the most for whatever reason. I guess I like seeing multiple red stripes, and uh, the fact that they breed like crazy is, is really cool too, so. So yeah, these are doing good, as always too. Um, if you're looking for some Crystal Reds, I've got them. Hit me up. Email is in the uh, um, where is it uh, in on the main page of my uh, YouTube channel, and I'll try to remember to put it uh, below in the comments too. Next door here, we've got um, some PRL and some Royal Blue Tigers. Just trying to see what I can do as far as uh, working on some Tyvees. See if these guys will will breed and and go from there. I haven't really... Well, wait a second now. We might have a buried female right in front of us here. It's hard to tell right now. I'm kind of looking through the camera and also looking through the glass. You know, maybe when I upload it on my computer, I'll be able to see better. So this this may, may or may not be buried. I'm not sure. Just can't really see, so... But anyway, there's uh, four PRL and four Royal Blue Tigers in there. Five Royal Blue Tigers, and then uh, there's also not sure what this guy is. I pulled him out of one of my tanks. I forget which tank, but it was a tank that was the shrimp were not this color. It might be a stray green jade, but I threw him in here because I wasn't sure what it was. Next door are the higher grade um, Crystal Reds, S through SSS grade. These haven't been doing a lot of breeding now for a while. They were taking off really well and then things slowed down. I sold some and then they haven't really bred so um, we're just kind of watching these guys for now. Uh, the PRLs, Pure Red Lines, are right next door. Um, sold off quite a few of these and uh, for the time being now I'm not going to be selling these anymore um, let the colony replenish itself but uh, they're breeding got some shrimplets uh, around they're doing real well um, love looking at these guys too some uh, babies in the back there I'm not sure if you can the camera's picking that up or not but anyway um, then we'll go over to the Taiwan B tank, the first one. Whoops, sorry about that. So this Taiwan B tank is, uh, these are all Taiwan Bs from Daryl DET Aquariums. Um, getting some breeding. This last time that they bred, it seems like the babies are surviving a little better. Up until now, I've had babies, and they just don't seem to make it. I've started um, giving them like some baby powder type food, and that seems to be helping out quite a bit. With Caridina species, a lot of times the, the babies uh, will stay hidden, and they don't come out when you feed a pellet or whatever. Or a leaf or anything you know so you got to kind of bring the food to them and that's what a powder will do but you can see some babies in in this uh, in this uh, kind of mosh pit here you can also see some babies up on this rock and over on these clay tubes there's a few 
But yeah, um, doing well. I, I would have thought by now that this colony would have been quite a bit bigger, but the breeding, like I say, just hasn't taken off like I had hoped. Um, but we're going to continue to work on them. Shrimp haven't been dying off or anything like that. It's just uh, the breeding part. Uh, very low to zero survival rate. Um, but I'm hoping that's changed now. So I just actually got a few more um, last week. Was it was last, yeah, last week on this in this tank too. So there's one of my. Um, newer blue bolts it's it's a lower grade um one of daryl's calls but i wanted to try to get some females and he thought that these couple here's another one right here that they're females so can't hurt to uh stack the deck with some extra females then down below are the other taiwan bees that came from two or three different sources same situation down here see babies every so often see buried females quite a bit just never have a survival rate um, on any of the babies though but we'll continue to work with them and see what we can't do head over here so we'll start up on top this tank is um, I've got uh, orange eye blue tigers and um, some red neos last video I was talking about that the red neos um, weren't coloring up all that good some of them now have started to get quite a bit uh, nicer in color um, the orange eye blue tigers this is my second go around with them and they're just not I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong but they're just not making it I mean I, I ordered I want to say 30 to 40 of them and there's just a handful left in here after about three weeks of, of, of them you can see one back there one of the lighter ones so I'm not just I'm just not sure. You know, sometimes that just happens. I mean, my parameters are all in check, um, but you know, certain times of strip, sometimes for some reason it's just harder to keep for certain people. And for some reason, these orange eye blue tigers have just been tricky for me. But I'll keep at it. Royal blue tiger tank, crazy breeding. Got a big old group of them here. They're always doing real well. Move the light a little to maybe see. Got a few red rillies in here too. The boost of Philandra in this tank is, is starting to really take off nicely too, so that's cool. But yeah, these guys are doing good. Couldn't be happier with them. Down below here is um, my t uh, regular Tiger and Painted Fire Red tank. I need to call these Painted Fire Reds. I think I said that in the last video. I haven't done it. Um, some good quality in here. Some not so good quality. The tigers are really seeming to do good. I had a buried, a couple buried females. Actually, I can see one right now in the in the petri dish there. Um, I haven't noticed any babies, um, but that's not to say there aren't any. I haven't paid real close attention. Plus, they're going to be pretty tricky to see with the type of substrate I've got in here and their coloration. Painted fire reds are breeding like crazy. So yeah, we'll just, uh, think, oh, there's a buried female going into the Petri dish up in the back of it there. But yeah, things are going good with this tank. Crystal Blacks are going like crazy too. Got these available. If anyone's looking for Crystal Blacks, hit me up. Next door here. Aura Blue Tigers. I think this is something new since my last video. 
they're doing good. I got them from two different sources, and I've had a couple that uh, I've lost, but the majority of them are still alive. I've only had them for a couple of weeks, and they're just getting around now to where they are starting to eat regularly when I feed them. So that's good. Um, next tank up here is the uh, Green Jades. There's a couple of uh, red tigers mixed in that I still have to keep, try to get out. See, keep thinking I've got them all out and then you find another one. <laughs> but uh, the Green Jades are, are doing real well. They're breeding, breeding like crazy also. You can see them eating here. They're a little bit harder to see. I had them on a lighter substrate and I thought that the darker substrate would bring out their colors better. And it does bring out their colors, but it also kind of camouflages them, if that makes sense. So, um, I don't know, you can't win, I guess, uh, on, on these shrimp as far as uh, being able to see them all. But they're all over in here. I had moved them at one point because uh, I was changing out the substrate. And when I put them all back in, I counted them and I had like 70. That was a month ago now, so there are probably quite a few more. Um, up above are the red tigers. They're doing okay. I don't see a lot of babies, um, but there are a few um, juvies in here. Um, so I know that there has been some breeding. Um, I haven't noticed myself any buried um, females recently, but um, that's not to say they're not. There's a couple in here too that are need to be called out because the color isn't uh, isn't like a reddish color I'm not sure what's going on with that and then up above is the uh, blue dreams they're doing okay um, I've had some breeding had some babies that I've noticed um, not a ton of them but some so um, these are really pretty shrimp though. I just love the blue color when you get a really nice one. Um, but yeah, they're doing they're doing all right. So we're gonna continue to work on these guys. You can see a few more over on the Oikos stone here. But uh, yeah, so we'll take you upstairs now to see the final tanks. Okay, so we're upstairs now in the office. Uh, show you the final um, few shrimp tanks. Um, we're looking at the uh, uh, yellow neo tank. Things are going okay in here. I haven't had any die off, but I haven't had a lot of breeding going on. Although there are a few babies now that I'm noticing over the last day or two. I can see one right back on this heater here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that. So that's a good sign. Um, but yeah, they're looking good. Kind of a mix of different uh, colors and designs on these. But uh, things things seem to be going, you know, for the most part well in this tank. Um, I wish I could get them breeding a little bit uh, more, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and over here is the Tangerine Tiger tank. They're doing okay. I've gotten a few different uh, batches in from different people and there's been some die off um, but uh, for the most part they're doing good. The other day they were really active and doing quote unquote the dance as, as people call it the breeding dance or whatever so um, you know there should be something going on in this tank hopefully. This is the first time I've had tangerine tigers and um, they're pretty cool. But uh, here's one right here swimming by. So I don't know, there's somewhere between 10 and 20 in this tank, I think, at this point. So, um, and then up here in the little five gallon, I don't remember if my last video I had shown that I had changed out the substrate, but I have, as you can see. And I decided to give some black roses a try. So that's what I've got in this tank. We'll see how that goes. They're just a Neo. We've got one that molted already. You can see the molt right there. So we'll see what goes on there. 
and then I'll show you real quick the uh, 90 gallon um, this tanks driving me crazy for some in some ways and other ways it's really been satisfying I guess satisfying part is that I was able to grow a very nice looking um, Monte Carlo carpet the stuff that's frustrating number one is I'm re I'm infested again with these uh, scuds or lawn shrimp you can see all over the back and they're all over the place um, you know they they had to have come in on some of my original Monte Carlo they're not harmful but they just look like garbage as far as I'm concerned I thought I had gotten rid of them in my last video I think I talked about I put in some pea puffers and it looked like they were all gone but of course they, they there were still some hiding and now they've taken off and bred like crazy in that process the pea puffers did eat most of my shrimp I just uh, recently picked up um, some more crystal reds for the tank I've been, for the most part, buying crystal reds and not taking from my colonies downstairs for this tank, just because I kind of wanted to keep them separate. But I think what I'm going to start doing is uh, putting some of mine from the downstairs tank, the lower grade ones especially, in here and uh, seeing how they do. But so far, the new shrimp I got have, have been doing good in here. Um, you can see them. I also got some uh, golden golden bees in here. I don't see any of those out right now. But that's what I can tell you about this tank. So, Alright, so that's it for this video. Um, as always, uh, thank you uh, to all you that subscribe and uh, that watch these videos. If you have any questions or are interested in any of the shrimp that I've uh, mentioned that I've got for sale, um, leave a comment below or um, um, shoot me an email at the email on, on my page here. Make sure you go over and check out Aquatic Support Systems. Um, they've got a good page on uh, Facebook and then also a Aquatic Support Community group on Facebook. Um, and make sure you check out all the um, YouTube channels for the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their uh, links will be below too. Um, if you like what you see here, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Um, if you're a first-time viewer, it um, really helps me out. And uh, you can get all my updates as they come out. I do updates on shrimp, uh, my, my uh, fish room. I keep a lot of cichlids and my saltwater tank as well. So I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Until next time, thanks a lot, guys. Later.